Hey, uh, Dr. Corny here. I don't know if you guys remember me. I'm one of the associate trauma medical directors at Naval Medical and the trauma surgeon over this way. Um, again, after doing Dr. Brink from the other presentation, thank you for all you guys do. Uh, talking about whole blood real quick. So whole blood's going well. It's starting, it had a rough start. We all know it had a rough start, but it's starting to pick up again. Um, about a dozen transfusions that have gone fairly well with really good outcomes. Um, one of the things I just want to reinforce is transfusion criteria. So we talked about it when I did all the teachings at the, uh, the headquarters there. Um, just make sure to refresh your memory on those criteria. Um, for the most part, doing really well. Things like shock index are being utilized, um, so that's, that's a great job in that regard. Um, there's a few that have been somewhat questionable. Um, EKG changes, that, stuff like that, aren't necessarily a reason to transfuse blood, but certainly something you can look at. So just refresh those criteria. Um, and then the other thing to reinforce is, uh, although we want to attack the golden hour as fast as we can and transfuse as early as possible, definitely uh, don't feel like you need to delay transport to the hospital for that. So ideally, crews would meet you with the blood before you're packed up and ready to go. You can start the transfusion as you move. Um, sometimes it doesn't happen. Rendezvous in transit is also an option. You, know, you can stop briefly, someone jumps in, uh, the supervisor can help out with hooking up the transfusion as you move. Uh, but definitely don't feel like you need to delay just to get blood because oftentimes you're going to get here either before the unit finishes or that delay time might have been the equivalent of the drive. So uh, doing well overall though, again, we've had really good outcomes with the whole blood. Uh, the 12 patients received it have all gone on to get out of the hospital, no mortality so far. Um, so really. It's, it's a process that's in the works, but it's, it's uh, something we can improve on just by keeping refreshed on our criteria and knowing when not to transfuse.